going to do the introduction of ANSYS workbench in static structure for those who are new to the ANSYS this video will provide them the basic knowledge of ANSYS and how to start working on it the first question which arises is what is ANSYS then the answer is that ANSYS is a general purpose software uh, which you can see here is the home screen of that software which is used to simulate interaction of all disciplines of physics, structural vibration, fluid dynamics, heat transfer and electromagnetic for engineers and also used for to integrate uh, uh, one or two other disciplines uh, in a single go. So uh, we can use different modules here present in the toolbox uh, for example fluid flow fluid flow cfx fluid flow flu fluent are the different modules for fluid dynamics and uh, we can see here static structural explicit dynamics explicit dynamics is used for those uh, bodies which are in motion and uh, have a velocity or angular velocity are an or uh, uh, they are acted upon a force when they are in dynamic state in a static structural we do the analysis of uh, bodies which are at rest and are acted upon load and we see the different results like deformation fatigue failure etc so in this uh, video we will start with a static structural as it is the most basic module present here most of us start with a static structural So we will first drag the static structural icon in the project window. Here we can name our project or leave it as it is. Now in the engineering data. The engineering data is a library of different materials uh, present uh, or predefined in the software uh, in which we can select or uh, load it for our project work for example if we click on engineering data we will see we will see in the engineering data sources different types of material first we will have to click on the type of materials which we want to see for example if we click on general materials it will provide us the library of the general materials which are used in the manufacturing here we can see there air aluminium alloy concrete copper alloy gray cast iron etc uh, yeah. when we click on the add icon the symbol will appear Th that means it is added to the library and we can use it while we are doing our project or our simulation uh, we can uh, see the different properties of this material for example aluminium alloy here in the property toolbar the density tensile yield strength compressive yield yield strength etc hence we can see different materials and their properties here we can add as many as materials which are we uh, going to use in the project so now we will go back to the project and here is the geometry uh, in the geometry we have two types of uh, input first is if we have predefined uh, design or uh, we have made design in other software and we want to import it directly to the ANSYS software we can import it using uh, uh, import geometry uh, like uh, here are a few examples which I have used earlier import or we can design it here in the ANSYS workbench from the scratch so we are going to learn how to start with ANSYS so we will do the drawing here double click on the geometry icon the design modular will appear here here we can make our sketch 
our model from the scratch in the unit we can select the unit in which we have to work here are the planes in the sketching tool we will find different sketching tools which are common and are the same as their name is for example rectangle it is easy to make drawing in design modular in the uh, we can fix the dimensions by the dimension tool Now we can convert the drawing into 3D by the extrude. And click on generate. Here we can find the model. Likewise there are different other uh, options such as modify in which we can find fillet, chamfer, corner which can be used for the drawing and constraint to fix the constraint now we are going to do the basic introduction so this will be the structure which we are going to use now we will close the design modular 